Hi there, and welcome to Live with the Paper Pixie, episode 323. I'm Julie DiMatteo, the Paper Pixie, coming to you live from Alpharetta, Georgia. What's the weather today? We are 70 degrees here in Atlanta. It was, what, 30 degrees yesterday morning? Yesterday being the first day of spring. Anyways, I hope you guys are, have nicer weather where you are. Um, if you're watching us live, say hello and where you're watching from. And hello to those of you who are watching us on replay. Tonight's going to be a little bit different of a stream because I have so much to share with you. So sort of the show flow tonight, I'm going to do some onstage show and tell. I just got back from onstage, which is the Stampin' Up! convention that was in Houston this past weekend. I've got lots of great show and tell for you. I'm also going to show you the new in colors if you haven't seen them already. I'm also going to give you some savvy shopping ideas as we approach the last chance list and retiring products and things that are coming with the new catalog, some pricing changes. So I'll help give you some, some great ideas of when the best time is to purchase certain things. We're going to talk about the last chance list and I'm going to try to break it down for you to make it easy to digest. And this should be helpful for both demonstrators and customers. So if you're here, you're in the right place. And then I will save it for Q and A at the end of tonight's live stream. Speaking of which, if you do have a question during tonight's stream, be sure to put a Q in front of that question that will make it into my Q. That way I can save the questions for the end of the live stream, but I'll stay on until I answer all of your questions. Please do save that Q for questions. When you shop with me, you earn Pixie Perks on orders of $25 or more. All you need to do is use my magic shopping link, thepaperpixie.com slash shop. That will automatically take you to the online store <clears throat> with me as your demonstrator and with my current host code already attached to your order. Now, if your order is $150 or more, you're going to want to remove the host code because you'll earn Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, but you'll also earn Pixie Perks from me. So... The first sneak peek I'm going to give you is the cover of the new annual catalog. This is the 2024 to 2025 annual catalog. It's going to look very different from our past catalogs, but I love it. And if I tilt this just a little bit, do you see how there's like clear embossing on this cover? Oh my goodness. I love, love, love. So while we were in Houston, we all received a copy of the annual catalog and we couldn't, they gave us they gave us only 25 minutes to pour through the pages, which I don't think that was enough time, but <laughs> we did our best. And then of course we were all looking at it throughout the rest of the event. So um, quick update, I was in Houston from Thursday to Sunday this past weekend for Stampin' Up's onstage event. It was our first live event um, as far as the large convention size since I think before COVID. Um, we did have an event in Jacksonville that I attended some regional events, but it was so wonderful to be together, and I can't wait to show you all the things that we have. So Brian is watching the chat tonight. If for some reason you forget to add a cue, um, he'll grab that for me. But why don't we go ahead and start with, hmm, I'm going to show you the new in colors first, okay? So um, if you haven't already seen them, we're going to start sort of in rainbow order. The in colors are released every year with new Stampin' Up! annual catalog, and they're with us for two years. So these are going to be the 2024 to 2026 in colors. We have a returning color, Pretty in Pink. I believe this pink uh, retired in 2013 when I originally joined Stampin' Up! I joined in 2010, and Pretty in Pink was one of the pinks as well as pixie pink. So I do kind of want pixie pink to come back. I don't need to explain that, do I? <laughs> but pretty in pink. Then we have peach pie. I had to write the names because I'm still learning them. Sk Shy shamrock, I almost said sky shamrock. Let me move these over so I have enough space. <laughs> Summer splash, bringing them down so we can see them better. And then my favorite, Petunia Pop. Aren't those gorgeous together? One of the things I love about the five new in colors as they're introduced is they always look wonderful together. So I'm gonna do a little fan these out so you can kind of see the colors here. I love how they're kind of a rainbow in and of their own as well. Isn't that pretty? I love these so very much. So if you're in the chat and you wanna go ahead and vote what your favorite is, 
I'll repeat them. We've got Pretty in Pink, Peach Pie, Shy Shamrock, Summer Splash, and Petunia Pop. I'd love to hear if you've got a favorite, drop that in the chat, okay? And I'll keep my eye on those. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So these are just so pretty together. Um, there's a whole suite of products in the annual catalog that features these five colors, and I absolutely love when Stampin' Up! does that. So stay tuned for that. I do plan to do an in-color club if you want to slowly um, receive the in-colors over a period of five months. So stay tuned for that information, but I love these. I love seeing your um, new orange family. Yes, peach pie. Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, you guys are awesome. I think my favorites are these two together, Petunia Pop and Summer Splash. But I'm a purples girl, so of course Petunia Pop. But I love the way that these look together. This green is yummy, yummy too. So, all right, so those are the five new in colors. How about I'm gonna show you some amazing swaps that I received. And I just have to say, I didn't travel with swaps. I had a handful of those little mini Tic Tac milk cartons left over from a business retreat I attended. So I had a couple that I handed out, but you guys were so incredible and gracious to bring me swaps. Many of them inspired by me and I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna try, let's see. I've got an empty container. Let's see how we can do this. I think we can do it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start with this adorable little gift from Melissa Faust. I wanted to show the little tag. You are utterly awesome. Love Melissa Faust, and it says Stampin' Up! On Stage Houston 2024. She, made, she printed the tag, but she die cut that from the tailored tags dies, which are about to retire, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But it's this cute little rubber ducky, and she actually super glued or hot glued the hat, the sunglasses, and his little bandana. And then there's some cute um, cow mints. How adorable is that? This would be a really great um, rubber ducky for a cruise. Have <laughs> you guys ever seen those rubber duckies around the cruises? All right, where am I going to go next? I wanted to show, this was a mother-daughter duo, which just warmed my heart so much. Um, from Hawaii, and I can't remember if it's Washington or California. This is from the mother and this is from the daughter. So this is Veronica Inouye, I-N-O-U-Y-E. I'm gonna go ahead and open this so you can see it. <laughs> Michelle, I like your vote, three of the five, that's awesome. So really, really cute. I've got a yummy treat in here. Ooh, Big Island Candies. I think that's shortbread dipped in chocolate from Hawaii, so that's so sweet. I love these little explosion boxes. And that just tucks right behind the little tag there. Love that. And then this one, I haven't studied, but she told me. So this is from Loreen Anoya Salvo. And her opening on the box is from the Hooray for Surprises. Now, I don't want to rip that open on here on live because I want to, I need to, you know, you guys like that when you get something new and you pull the little plastic covering off. I like to do that <laughs> on my own time so satisfying but that is such a cute little idea with the ho hooray for surprises dies that bundle is actually carrying over not the bundle itself but the products but there is the front of it so a little cute little treat box just for you but i love that opening so i'm going to keep that idea in mind and i see that mary joe is in the chat she gave me this adorable customized mary stampin blessings mary stampin blessings which i love Thank you, Mary Jo. So good to see you and meet you in person. Anita Llewellyn. This cute little treat box. I love that most of these are 3D because you know you guys know that's my jam. Look at the cute little Mentos individually wrapped in there. Love that little explosion box there. Cute little profile. This is from Carla Weirheim. I'm so happy to have met her as well. Look how cute that is on the front. I love that little daisy. And then that just opens up. It's got a Rice Krispie treat in there. Super cute. This is from Evelyn, I believe. Let's see. Yep, Evelyn Klein, and this was that little nugget caddy inspired by Darby Whittier and Pixified by me. Super cute with the cherries. Trying to keep the names together so that I know. <laughs> 
some of these don't have names. So if you're watching, whether live or on the replay, please tell me that it's from you because I always want to give you all shout outs. This is from Jen Roke, a really cute matchbox treat holder. Happy Hoppers Harry Bow Gummies for Easter. Isn't that adorable? Love that. Jen Roke. This is from Donna Johnson. It is a shadow box, if you remember from a couple weeks ago. This one with the hearts that has the two Hershey's nuggets. So she cased that with different products and I absolutely love the way it turned out with the, um, the tool bundle, <laughs> the tool suite. Super cute. I love that too, a great guy. All right, now this one, I think there's a name in here. A little bit of ASMR with the plastic wrapping that I'm opening here, let's see. I don't know if there's a name on this one. Let's see. Velcro. There's not, and I always, I forgot who gave this to me. So if this is yours, please let us know in the chat or the comments. But I love those little mini Tic Tac pockets. And it's just the sweetest little pouch. This would be really cute for um, a little mini sewing kit as well. But I love the way that looks. Sweet little flower detail there. I met so many people at OnStage and I tried so hard to remember names, but you know how it is. <laughs> so I apologize, I don't have your name, but I do remember receiving this, I just can't remember. This is another one with no name, but it's a little slider. And that is, ooh, a layered fruit bar. That looks yummy. Cute little, so the ribbon is the mechanism for pulling that in and out of this little pouch. I do too, Pam. That's Mr. Girly Girls, Pam. I, Pam, remember how I said I needed to tell Brian that that was you? <laughs> Cute. This is, these are from my team member, Salisa, who I got to meet in person. I got to meet Nyla, Carol, and Salisa from my Pixies in person, and we had just had the best time sitting together and just enjoying each other's company. But how cute are these coasters? She die cut the circle um, cork pieces for the back and stamped these with stays on. Aren't those so cute? She had several different varieties, but I loved these. I think Celise is in the chat tonight. This is from Trisha Braun, who was so sweet. She sent me an Instagram message to say, I wanna meet you. And I think we had already met by the time I replied to her, but she brought me this adorable swap. Um, one of my old projects for the pocket back hand sanitizers. Fits perfectly in there. That's using the envelope punch board. Ooh, Calypso Clementine. That looks yummy. So super cute. And some chocolates, which I always appreciate. Thank you, Trisha. This little Andy's Mint Slider. I love this. You guys, this has warmed my heart so much. This is from Kate Wright. So um, a shadow box holding four Andy's Mints. That is linked on my blog as well. A little hello from me to you. All that dazzling, dazzling something paper. And another tree box. I know I remember getting this, but I'm so terrible with names. But this is the little mini Tic Tac milk carton that I shared a couple of weeks ago. But how cute is that with the circles offset? I love that. And the um, basics or the essentials twine. I forget. It's the five pack. That's the crumb cake one. Love you right back, Salisa. <laughs> oh, Carla, you are here. Good, good. All right, so this is from Liz Hightower. And she pixie-fied one of my boxes to make it even cuter, because check this out. <gasps> so remember I had that treat box that had the chap ice in the middle, and then it was a Hershey's nugget on either side. She pixie-fied it for a mini Tic Tac and a chap ice. Isn't that adorable? Love it. So cute. That was Liz Hightower. Thank you, Liz. I love the little ribbon pull too. So cute. All right, let's see. Ooh, which one is from Belinda, Anita? This one, I think you're right. All right, so this adorable box, which holds three um, Mercy chocolates, this is from Pulling out the business card here. Linda Mansky. 
Isn't that so cute? So three Mercies fit in there. Now, for those of you that are watching on replay, we're gonna have a couple of segments in tonight's stream. So I will add chapters so that you can jump around. We're currently in the show and tell segment of swaps I received while at On Stage in Houston. This was a pin from Elizabeth Mayfield Hart. Isn't that cute? She's got the, I have a button maker as well, but I think that's vinyl. And she used the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series paper, which is about to be 50% off starting April 9th. I just have random numbers in my head from studying, but isn't that cute? I love the little button makers. All right, Gina Matei, or Matai. <laughs> oh, look at how cute this little milk carton is. And look at the matching binder clip, the purple binder clip. How cute is that? She probably found that on Amazon. Kindness Matters. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Let's see what's inside. I don't want to rip into it too much. Let's see. Ooh, two Hershey's Nuggets are in there. And they're decorated with DSP. It's so very cute. I love how she attached the linen thread to the binder clip. Gina Matai. <laughs> I am so proud, Carla said. You've taught us well. So proud of you guys so much. All right. This is one without a name. And again, I remember receiving it, but I should have just ha taken my phone. I was saying to my friend, Jamie Babarsi, I was like, I wish that I had written down every time I took a picture or that I wanted to write down every name of every person I met um, that would help me remember. But it's got two, maybe it'll be in the tag, in the note here, let's see. This is one of those um, tea bag holders. There's a tea bag, there are, um, I don't want to cut that string, so I'm just trying to get the plastic off here. Biscoff, or there's um, shortbread in the middle, so let me take this out so you guys can see it up close. So cute, look at the size of this, I love this. So we've got the Walker shortbread in the middle. Let's see if there's a name in here. No, no name, that's all right. I'm hopefully whoever is gave this to me is watching or will watch the replay and let me know. But isn't that cute? So you got T. Just checking to see if there's a name there. Again, I'm so great. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Brian's laughing at me. Evelyn Klein, thank you. I should have known better. Tea and cookies, Chiaki Haverstick, inspired by Debbie Pippin. So cute. You guys are incredible. All right. Now this is one that I'm embarrassed to say I do not remember her name, but we had a great conversation about this being my favorite pen. And look at this adorable little kind of marker fabric basket. So cute. And then this is the my favorite pens, which I have linked on my favorites page. But have you guys all have any of you guys tried the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel. This is my favorite pen, and it's also a favorite amongst those that use the epoxy. Uh, is it epoxy rolling? What's the thing called? I forget. There's like a little turn, st turn style that they use. Isn't that so cute? And then she also included an ink refill, which I've got to check out. She said these are great refills for the Ink Joy Gel, so I'm going to try that as well. The Arteza gel pen refill. Love it. So I can't wait to use that. All right, now I've got some cards to show you. It wasn't Angie that gave me this, but I bet the bag was inspired by Angie's fabric bags. I like the name is right here in my head, but I can't remember. So whoever made the pen handed me the basket, but it's not, it wasn't Angie Judah, um, but all right, so cards, I've got about, these are swap cards that I got. Well, I shouldn't say swap. These are cards that people gave me. How cute is this? This is from Carla Goodlace. TCB stands for taking care of business and was Elvis's personal motto 
The accompanying lightning bolt is used to represent in a flash, conveying a sense of energy, power, and urgency, and alluding to his rigorous work ethic. If I remember, Carla, you went on to Memphis after uh, New Orleans. I remember the excitement around that, I think, or I could be making that up, but that's what I have in my head. I know you're a big Elvis fan, so that's a great card using that suite. These next two cards are from Penny Nelson. This is that envelope fold, which is so awesome. So she's got that tucking behind the zinnia there. And then this is another card from Penny. Penny's local to the Houston area. Little pocket card here. So cute. I love the latte suite. Look at this technique with the um, Stampin' Blends on vellum. Is that not gorgeous? This is from Deb Peterson. Yep, so Mossy Meadow and Petal Pink Blends on vellum using the alcohol technique. Stunning. Let me go ahead and take it out of the envelope here. Look at that. We're going to do that one of these days, okay? It's going to be a little messy, but we'll have some fun. We saw some cool techniques from um, Natalie and Shannon, the DDMs, that they were using um, alcohol markers and alcohol spritz. This is from Karen Buttery. I've got a pack of zinnias, which I love, and then a coordinating card. Yeah, so the basket was probably inspired by Angie, but it wasn't Angie who gave it to me. Or chicken scratch. Yep, same. Angie's chicken scratch. Mm -hmm. Pretty, love that. Brian, you got some zinnias to plant now. <laughs> Nancy Burt Priest, love that hummingbird. Beautiful card. These dyes are retiring, you guys. The stamp set is not, but the dyes are. And then finally, Nadine, who was so sweet when she ran up to me to say hi. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. These were like the best swaps. Each and every one of them warmed my heart. Oh, I do have one more, one tiny little scissor charm from Trisha Chuba. She's part of um, the larger team that I'm a part of, Mary Fish's Stampin' Pretty Pals. And that's so cute. Love it. All right. Now we're gonna move on to, what's the next segment here? Oh, I'm gonna take a quick moment to remind you guys that tomorrow night, March 21st at 8 o'clock p.m. is my members only Pixie Patron stream this month. So if you'd like to join the Pixie Patrons, there is a link in the description below this video. It will take you straight to joining as a channel membership. It's $4.99 per month. And we uh, create two cards together. I also have templates for you. We're building a template binder uh, as we um, have each monthly members only stream. So I hope you'll join me tonight. You'll notice the the Pixie patrons are in the chat with a little magic wand icon next to their name. We're so grateful for the, for, for my Pixie patrons. So tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, March 21st. All right. We are getting ready to say goodbye to the 2023 to 2024 annual catalog and the January to April 2024 mini catalog. Now, I want to show you, I have gone through every single page of the catalog and I have marked all these different marks. We are not gonna go through page by page, but I will point out a few things to try to focus you on the things that are most important to know. And just to make sure that you can get the most bang for your buck and you know dates and all of that good stuff. Look at all those notes. <laughs> so um, I essentially took the last chance lists from Stampin' Up. We received those on Tuesday when we got to see the digital version of, and when I say we, demonstrators got to see the digital version of the new annual catalog, which if you have just joined the stream, this is what the cover looks like. I can't show you the inside yet until April or May 1st. Um, 
So we're getting ready to say goodbye to these guys, which is always sad, but it also means that some amazing new products are coming and we have some great products that are carrying over as well. So we don't have to say goodbye to everything. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, well, first kind of covering all of these, as a general rule of thumb, all bundles and all product suite item numbers are gonna retire as of May 1st. So April 30th is the last day that you can purchase bundle item numbers and suite item numbers. So in general, whenever catalogs switch over, the bundle pricing goes away, but in many cases, the products within the bundle are carrying over, or they might be completely retiring, but I've tried to break that down for you as well. All the documents that I'm gonna share with you on tonight's live stream are linked in the video description, so you can go look at those and print them out for your reference. Uh, but that's just a quick general rule of thumb. So on the last chance list, I actually pulled out the suite numbers and the bundle numbers and left the individual products because I felt like that was just a little bit easier to take a look at. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, the first two links, which we'll come back to this in a moment, is the annual catalog last chance list and the January to April mini catalog last chance list. This one is super short and that's because a lot of the bundles are actually carrying over. So it's a little hard to tell on here, but the, the red indicates discounted pricing. I wanna be very clear, the discounts won't go into effect until April 9th at midnight mount or 12 a.m mountain time on april 9th okay so you can purchase any of these now unless any of them happen to be out of stock at the moment but you won't have the uh discount pricing reflected until april 9th okay anything that's in black and it'll you'll see it better when you look at it yourself Anything in black, those prices are gonna stay the same through April 30th. Now, anything on the last chance list starting April 9th is gonna be while well supplies last. Now, because Stampin' Up! has released these lists a little bit ahead of April 9th, word is getting out and I have a feeling some things are gonna start selling out and we'll talk about that in a moment, okay? The annual catalog list is actually eight pages long, but if you print it double-sided, you'll just use four pieces of paper but I want you to just kind of take a look at the amount of products that are in red. Now these discounts are up to 60% off. So there are a lot of products that have some fantastic discounts. Look at all of these, 50, 50, 50. So, I mean, tons of products with discounts. So take a look at this. Those that are in red, you'll see a discount percentage and you'll see a discounted price. Okay, again, that discount goes into effect April 9th. So that's what a week from, I don't have my calendar. It's a little bit, a week and some change, I believe. So there we go. Now, both of these are actually in order by page. That's the way my brain works the easiest because I typically bring it out with my printed catalog. For example, I'll start at page 14 and I see that the gold celebrations specialty designer series paper is retiring. I want to point out something here. Do you see this note next to the bright and beautiful? That is actually carrying over to the annual catalog. So we got a couple great carryover products as well. I'll, I'll mention those in a moment, okay? So those are the last chance lists. We'll come back to those in just a moment. But I want to focus on a couple of things that you can take advantage of now, okay? So first, there are going to be some price increases in the annual catalog, and those price increases are gonna go into effect on May 1st. So I did kind of a list of my top 20 products that will be experiencing a price increase that you might wanna stock up on now while it's at the current price. So this top row here, basic white, eight and a half by 11 cardstock, very vanilla, eight and a half by 11, basic white, eight and a half by 11 thick, basic white note cards and envelopes, and basic white medium envelopes. Those are all gonna have a price increase. So if you're, if you're running low in your stash, I recommend adding those to your cart before May 1st. Same thing with clear translucent envelopes, multi-purpose liquid glue is getting a little bit of a price bump, mini glue dots. The Stampin' Spritzer is actually going up by $2. So if you don't have a few of those in your stash, grab some at $4, they're going up to $6. Sponge, up, sponge daubers are getting a pretty 
I say hefty price increase, but compared to what it costs now, I think this is, I forget what the price is on this one, what it's going up to, but a couple dollars, I believe. Whisper White Craft Stampin' Ink Refill. That one's actually gonna have the highest increase. It's a 56% increase. It's going up to seven and change. I think right now it's four something. Versamark Ink Tuxedo Black Ink Pad and Refill. The cutting plates, cutting plates for the regular and mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines. Bone Folder Paper Snips Take Your Pick Tool and Take Your Pick Putty Refill. These are like my favorite tools. Those are also getting a price increase as well. Now, all cardstock, so I see that right here, Michelle. I'm gonna just address that really quickly. Yes, all cardstock colors are gonna have a price increase. These are gonna have a little bit more of a price increase and in my mind are much bigger staples. I wanted, there's, let's see, I started writing down all the products that are having a price increase and once I reached 50 products, I kind of stopped because it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't the best use of my time. Lots of products are getting a price increase um, as far as categories. Let me see if I can um, read you the categories briefly. Okay, so here are the categories. I'm just gonna say them out loud um, and that should help you look in the store. So classic Stampin' Ink Refills, Stampin' Blends, Select Specialty Inks, Embossing Pastes, Stampin' Spots, Cardstock, Select Note Cards and Envelopes, Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machines and Plates. I think it's just the big machine that's getting a price price increase but both sizes of plates punches are increasing around from two to four dollars each select storage select tools and select adhesives so all of the eight and a half by 11 cardstock all of the cardstock assortments in both eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 those are all increasing in price so if you've got colors that you're running low on i recommend grabbing those before the prices go up okay but these were just my kind of top 20 um, so, so as not to overwhelm you. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you, Carla. The dainty delights dies. All right. Get these catalogs out of the way for a moment. <clears throat> these are my top 20 favorites that are, we're going to be saying farewell to. So oh, a big collective sigh. Vellum is retiring, but that doesn't mean we can't find vellum elsewhere. Stampin' Up! is retiring vellum. Don't get too upset, but Very Vanilla 8.5 by 11 Thick Cardstock is retiring. Very Vanilla Medium Envelopes. Very Vanilla Cards and Envelopes. And the Basic White 3x3 three three Envelopes, which I love, but those are retiring as well. My, some of my favorite punches retiring. So all of these or I should say none of these will have discounts reflected on April 9th. So if you're wanting to get these, I recommend grabbing them sooner than later because the word's starting to get out. So the decorative circle punch, the double oval punch, banners pick a punch, the simply elegant trim, which I love using, the tailor-made tags dies, which I mentioned Melissa used on my cute little cow rubber ducky um, gift she gave me. And then these, all the in-color products from 2022 to 2024 are retiring. But if you already have the ink pads, I recommend stocking up on cardstock and the ink refills if you don't already have them. So I kind of selected those as kind of my top 10 from the in-colors. Okay, so you can download this as well. But these are kind of my favorites that I'm the most sad about. I will miss, but there's great new products that are coming as well. So, okay. All right. The next download that I've got is the Bye Bye Bundle Discounts. So these bundles, the products in the bundles are not retiring. They are both, both the stamp and either the die or the punch is carrying over into the new annual catalog, but their discount bundle, the bundle discount pricing will retire as of April 30th. So come May 1st, you won't be able to buy these in a bundle. And there is actually 27 of them. So I include them all in here. This is coming from both the annual catalog and the mini catalog. Um, but a lot of these are coming from the mini catalog, which is great. It means we've got more time to spend with them, okay? So you can use this as a resource. If there's any bundles on here you've had on your wish list, I recommend grabbing it before the bundle pricing goes away, okay? So products are staying, but the bundle pricing retires April 30th. If you have any questions about these, just let me know. Sometimes you gotta kinda look at them and study them and can always shoot me an email at support at the paperpixie.com. 
All right, the next one is buy by bundles, and that means that both the bundles and the products in the bundles are completely retiring. So as of April 30th, these bundles and products in them will no longer be available. We've got things like Easter lilies and excellent eggs, darling details, hey Chuck, let's see, rockstar bundle, notes of nature. There are actually 23 of those. These are the bundle and everything in the bundle is going away. Now I have got, let me come back to my notes here. There are five bundles where one of the products is retiring. I did not create a printout for that because it's just, it's harder to explain, but I'm going to say them out loud. So perennial postage bundle, the stamp set is retiring, but those postage dies, those are carrying over, which I'm excited about. Thoughtful expressions, the dies are retiring. Those are those really pretty shaped dies with the hummingbird dies. The stamp set is carrying over, but the dies are retiring. Circle sayings, that's at the beginning of the annual catalog. The two and three eighths inch circle punch is carrying over, but the stamp set is retiring. Countryside Corners, the stamp set's retiring, but those awesome dies are sticking around. And then the Clear Block Bundle is retiring because blocks A, G, and I will be retired. So the bundle is actually changing in the new annual catalog. It's going to be less those three sizes, A, G, and I. My guess is those are the three sizes that have the lowest sales because you can really use the other sizes for stamps of those sizes. So that clear block bundle as it stands, plus those three blocks are retiring, uh, but there will be a new, uh, more economical bundle because it's less uh, clear blocks in the new annual catalog. All right, and then the last flyer that I've got linked in the description is because this took a while to figure out. Um, this probably affects demonstrators more than customers just because I love to sit and compare the catalogs to the last chance lists. And then there's always a handful of products that kind of are like, well, they're into the ether. What, what's the fate of those products? So we have got 13 products that are actually moving to the online exclusives category. Um, they're technically in that category now, but these products are also currently in catalog, in either the mini or the annual catalog. But starting on May 1st, they're only going to be available in the online exclusives. You won't see them in the upcoming annual catalog, and that's the 2 and 3 eighths inch circle punch, around the bend dies, the blueberry bunches stamp set, cap and gown stamp set, cling adhesive, that's if you're trying to turn uh, stamps into cling stamps, the deckled rectangles dies. I was worried those were going away, but they're just moving to online exclusives. Everyday details, same with those. I was worried about those, but those are carrying over. Heartfelt hexagon. Now this is an unknown. For some reason, it's currently missing from the online exclusives category. I have asked Stampin' Up to confirm that, but I'm making the assumption that's where that one will be. Here's to love. Love this moment. Painted texture 3D embossing folder. Quiet Reflection, Cling Stamp Set, and then the Specialty Plate. So that's the one that you'll use in the, the large stamp and cut and emboss machine. I call it the Big Boss. That's for when you want to use 3D embossing folders. So that is, you won't see it in the catalog, but it'll be available in the online store. Okay. All righty. Donna, uh, all of these resources are linked in the description for you. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking at these. So again, there are one, two, three. There's, I think there's seven links in the description. So I'm just going to recap those really quickly. Stock up and save. These are products, kind of my top 20 products that are experiencing a price increase May 1st. You can stock up on them now at the current pricing. There's a whole list. There's probably over probably 75 products or more that are experiencing a price increase. They range in some of them are tiny, like 25 cent price increase, and some of them are a few dollars. Um, so that's stock up and save. Farewell favorites. These are favorites that will not be discounted, but they are going away. So you can grab those now if you don't already have them. I know it's a little bit hard to see this on the camera, but when you grab the download, um, you'll, you'll be able to see it much better. These are bundles where the discount bundle price is going away, but the products are carrying over, both products in the bundle. 
These are bundles that are going away completely. So both products and the bundle pricing retires April 30th. And then we've got 13 carryover products that you won't see in the annual catalog when you see it, um, but they'll be available in the online exclusives category. The other two downloads are the actual last chance lists, one for the mini catalog, which is just a one pager. Anything in red reflects discounts that will happen starting April 9th. Starting April 9th, all of these products will be while supplies last. Some products may sell out before April 9th just because the word is starting to get out. And then we've got the annual catalog last chance list. Again, what's in red are gonna have discounts starting April 9th. And you guys, these discounts are up to 60% off. Um, I've actually never seen discounts like this before on a last chance list, or I should say this many products discounted. So I'm super thrilled about that. So take a look at your wish list, take a look at what's gonna be discounting and get ready for your order on April 9th. And then maybe make a list of products you wanna grab before April 9th that won't have a price change. Or I should say that won't be discounted or their price is going up May 1st. Okay, so those are those. Um, let's see. We're just gonna flip through the annual catalog, like a really quick flip through, not even, we're not gonna spend time on too many pages, but just to see if there's anything here that I wanted to call out. And then we'll get to your questions. I think that's what's next. Yeah. All right. So this is an example. This stamp set is retiring, but the two and three eighths inch circle punch is carrying over to online exclusives. You'll see I've just marked R. Basically, I just took the list, curled up on the couch, crisscross applesauce and um, marked up my catalog. So for me anyways, I have to, I pull all the retired products. So I don't use stuff that you guys can't order. Um, this one's gonna go into the annual catalog. So lots of carryovers. Also indicated any discounts as well. This one, 50% off. If you haven't already gotten the super cool stamp set, you might have maybe some kids or grandkids in your life. That would be a fun stamp to get for only $10 instead of 20. Uh, the Lay Shop Designer Series paper, that's 50% off. Again, we're just doing this really quickly. I'm excited. The uh, Something Fancy and the Something Fancy Dies, those are both carrying over. Um, if you've got a teacher in your life, Apple Harvest, 60% off that stamp set. So whatever, what's 60% off of 24? I can't do math live. <laughs> that's a good discount, though. Um... Wonderful thoughts, those are carrying over, just not the bundle pricing. Look, 40% off, 50% off, 40% off this ribbon duo. So yeah, there's all kinds of discounts on um, embellishments, ribbon. I saw the cutest swap using this, I think it was this bird with the glasses and it was a lens cleaner packet. It was the cutest swap. I thought that was a great idea. So I'm Stuck that in my noggin for a possible future project. We're just going quick. All three of these are 50% off. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. It probably looks like I'm going triple time. <laughs> so again, these awesome dies, the Countryside Corners dies, those are carrying over, but the stamp set itself, the one that does like the stitching, that one is retiring. Flippy, flippy. We'll go past all the um, stamp sets here. I'll pause on a few if anything catches my eye. If you haven't spiral bound your catalog, it is amazing. I love being able to just open it flat. It's the first thing I did when I came home with my new annual catalog. Let's see. Doo doo doo. All right, let's see. Yeah, look at these. They don't usually, if they discount stamp sets, like 20% is usually the highest I see them go, but these ones that are like 40, 50, and 60% off, you're gonna be able to get some really great deals starting April 9th on those. Oh, I know what I have to tell you while I'm flipping. There are actually six papers that are carrying over, which is also a little bit unheard of. We've had it happen a couple times over the few years, the, how many years have been a demonstrator, 14? 
Anyways, um, bright and beautiful, countryside inn, nature's sweetness, perennial lavender. Those are four that are in catalogs that are going to carry over to the annual catalog. And there's two that were in the online exclusives that are actually in the annual catalog. And that is natural, naturally gilded and oxidized copper. So, all right. So anything, these 2022 to 2024 in colors, those are retiring. You'll see the Stampin' Blends for those are all 40% off. Let's see. I know it doesn't look like that, Paula, but I also wrote down anything that's carrying over also has Sharpie, so I didn't really differentiate with colors. Um, so there's a lot of these that are carrying over, but also a lot retiring. But it makes room for all kinds of new products. Um, let's see if there was anything there. Okay, so Bright and Beautiful, Countryside Inn, those two are carrying over. It's really cool. Uh, Stampin' Up! is doing a sales challenge for demonstrators where we can earn a different colorway of the Countryside Inn if we better our best with sales um, for the month of April, year over year. Uh, let's see. I do have some more show and tell to show you from stuff that Stampin' Up! gave us, so hang tight for that. And then we'll do Q&A. All right, so the Stampin' Emboss powders, those are, I pulled those off of the retired list as well. They're being reconfigured, so they've got a new manufacturer. I believe Wow is the manufacturer. They're working on getting those hopefully by the fall, but it'll be the same configuration, the basics, black, clear, and white, and then the metallics, copper, gold, and silver. So um, that's coming, and I'm excited to use them because some of my embossing powders aren't working so great these days. But this whole page is... Um, carrying over all the inks a lot from this page so these are adhesives um, i think i mentioned that cling adhesives going to the online exclusives category we've got quite a few embellishments that are carrying over it's wherever i've got this 24 25 ac i know you can't see that very well but lots of embellishments there's some ribbons actually i think this whole page of ribbon is retiring um couple on here that are carrying over all of these fun tools, snips, bone folder, simply scored all carrying over. Let's see. And then lots of punches that are retiring. I counted, I think there are 19 punches retiring. So we've got two new punches that are coming that you're going to love. Um, that we also have the option of choosing either a punch or a die. So I thought that's a pretty cool, pretty cool option in the new annual catalog. Somebody had a question about the clear blocks. The caddy is actually retiring. They did not create a new caddy for the clear blocks. So again, A, G, and I are retiring. So it's the tiniest one, that kind of small, skinny one, and then I, which is just a little bit bigger than H. Okay. And I think that's about it with this. Lots is carrying over the mini catalog, so I'll probably skip over that one. Uh, but again, I just made all these notes. I know I'm going through this fast, but your the downloads, the links in the description should help you figure it out. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to email me at support at thepaperpixie.com. All right, so now I'm gonna switch to things that Stampin' Up! provided uh, during on stage, and I want to encourage you, if you're not already a demonstrator, to think about joining the Stampin' Up! family. We've got the next on stage is March 13th through the 15th, 2024, so like a year from now, in Raleigh, North Carolina. I, can't, I already can't wait for that one. But they originally gave us this big, oh, hold on, let me come back to, come back to a different scene here. Let's do this. All right, this awesome backpack. And it is kind of a smart backpack. There is um, a charging cord that obviously you have to plug into your, uh, you have to add a battery block, but look at that. There's a little USB there and a USB on the outside of the bag. There's also kind of this false bottom. And then inside they had put this adorable See if I can do this live train case that fits in the bottom and there's actually a false bottom that I can close over the top of that Isn't that so cute and I love the colors I'll show you that train case up close so there's that bag lots of great pockets and they gave us pens 
in the in colors. We also get these collectible enamel pins that I'll add to my enamel boards. And then a lanyard, but I had a different lanyard. There's that. All right, so let me come back to overhead here. So this is the train case. I'm calling it a train case, um, but somebody actually just shared they fit 10 ink pads in the center section, which I thought was so cute. I don't know if that was the intended thing, but it works. So this is a rigid kind of lined with foam on the inside. Okay, so there's that. And that's how I got all of my swaps home without them getting smushed. Uh, one fun note about me is I do not check a bag. So I had to figure out Tetris, how to get everything in my bag. But it's got this cool handle on the front so you can pull it out of the backpack. And I love how all the zipper pulls were coordinated. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a disclaimer here because these results require significant work and are accompanied are accomplished by a substantially small percentage of demonstrators. So this was my name tag with all of my achievement ribbons. So top performer for the country, um, overall leadership, sales and team building, an incentive trip achiever, and then level four for sales leadership and team building and silver elite. So we get all these ribbons. They did something fun this year. It was on a wall and we could go pick our ribbons and then they're just all added together. So a little rainbow of ribbons. On the name tag was a QR code for the agenda. And then the lunch I had, we also had an after hours event, which I'll show you the products we got from there. And that just indicates that I'm from the US. So there's that. And then I got to walk across the stage for a couple of things. Um, an incentive trip achiever, top performer group, and then annual sales, team building, and leadership. And then I did reach a sales milestone during last Stampin' Up! year. And actually minutes before I walked the stage, I hit 800,000. So I was walking for 700,000 and I hit um, 800,000 literally five minutes before I walked across the stage. That was pretty exciting to celebrate with those in the row around me. So hopefully my goal is by March to reach the million sales achievement. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. We also got in the bag, this is a marker case that you would fill with markers. See how it just got taller. And then when you're ready to use the markers, you just slide it down and then your markers are easy to grab and go. Isn't that so cute? Love that. And these all have the um, sort of the logo that was designed for the event. So even the notepad is the same. Super cute and it's kind of squishy. I'll be excited to use that. We also got trading pins. So everybody got an assortment of pins we could walk around and trade if we wanted. Apparently all these pins went together to create a design, but I don't know if we knew what the design was at the end of the day. <laughs> Laura, thank you. <laughs> Laura's like, I'll help. I have some amazing team leaders. My upline, Brian King. I got a little adhesive kit and a Starbucks gift card from him. So that's cute. And we have these pins that we wear to represent what team we're from. So I'm a royal, inking royalty. And then his upline, Pam, Mr. Girly Girl, who's watching. <laughs> the love of spring dyes, some rhinestones, which I can never have too many of those. Linen thread, water painter, and this adorable little tag. Pam, the little gift bag didn't make it home, but I had to keep the tag. Isn't that so cute? It says, love Pam on the back. Just a couple more things to share with you. We got, um, one of the upcoming kits, Hooray for Honeycomb kit, which I didn't open it, but I'm just gonna show you what the projects look like. It came in a paper pumpkin box, but that wasn't gonna make it in my suitcase. And these are little honeycomb shapes, strawberry, uh, balloon, and sun. So those just open up to create 3D shapes. So that's Hooray for Honeycomb. I believe that's a future kit coming. We also got, this is part of the onstage after hours event. These are the in color, let's see, shimmer gems, beautiful. I can't remember, Pam, was this one from you too or is that from Stampin' Up? I don't remember. 
free product. All right, so Prize Patrol, um, we everybody gets a number on their name tag and numbers one through six, I believe they had. So this was, I was number three, and I think this was the first Prize Patrol. This is the Lily Pond Lane six by six designer series paper. I'm gonna flip through it really quickly. That's front and back. You get four each of 12 double-sided designs. Oh, how fun is that koi one? So cute. I haven't flipped through this yet, obviously, because I just opened it. Oh, look at the little ducklings. Front and back. There we go. Ducklings. So this is one of the sweets in the upcoming catalog. I should get my pre-order. I think it's scheduled to come on Monday. I did not expedite it. I was a good girl. There we go. Oh, you guys have good questions tonight. These are going every which way, aren't they? This pattern, I love this. I think that's the pretty in pink. Let's see. Ooh, I like that question too. Jean's asking if you went as my supporting demo. Cute. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can tell, I talked a lot this weekend. There we go. All right, let's clean that up. Coming down the home stretch here. Yes, I will be doing product shares in Color Club. Stay tuned for that. This was the all attendee prize patrol. Actually, Shelly Gardner surprised us on the recognition night and she got to give away the all attendee. This is a great background stamp and really pretty to fussy cut the leaves as well. For the on stage after hours event, we were able to pick a bundle and I chose Spotlight on Nature because of the dyes. So they are 12 circle dies that have different edging to them. You know me and circle dies, so we're gonna have lots of fun with these, but here's the stamp set. Spotlight on Nature. Love this leaf stamp. All right. Just a couple more things. So I just wanted to show you, this was the um, handout we got for after hours and it's got all these project ideas with card sketches, got little sketches in the corner for us to use for future projects. So that's a really cool thing. I'm one of those that takes and makes. So I grabbed my stuff and just visited. And then this was very cool, the Product Playground Passport. They had this product playground where we could go around and check out kits and paper pumpkin. Um, we could grab a color wheel, which this is what I had to have. Look at this. So this is going to give you, um, as far as I know, this is an onstage attendee exclusive. Everybody's putting in the suggestion box to see if they can offer this for sale to everybody. So I hope, but stay tuned for that. Gives um, information about really just color theory, which I'm excited to study and take a look at. But all these little cutouts kind of help with doing color combinations. So we've got complementary, analogous, uh, monochromatic and triadic. Isn't that so cool? And how pretty are our colors in rainbow order? So anyways, the product playground kind of showed us how we could go around the convention center and try all these different things. I thought that was so cool. And then the final piece of show and tell, I just wanted to show you a couple birthday cards that I got that I loved. Super inspiring. That's from my team member, Linda Johnson. Thank you, Linda. I think you're in the chat tonight. My dear customer, Wanda Beers, which I love. She put my little house number on the mailbox. Whoops. That's from the Sending Love Bundle. So cute. And then this is from Kachik. Love this little fun fold. Wait until you see this watercolor. Is this not the most beautiful thing? I've got to figure out how to frame this. Look at that. I'm gonna treasure that Kachik. Thank you so much. I was just holding it to my heart. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful watercoloring. And it's in this awesome, it's not vellum, I don't think, but beautiful protective paper. I'm just gonna leave that like that. So Kachuk, thank you, thank you. All right. I think that's everything. Why don't we jump into the Q&A? Let me go ahead and get that teed up. If you do have a question that you haven't already added into the chat, feel free to add it now. Again, I'm about 20 seconds ahead of you. So if I don't, for some reason, don't get to your question at the end, it just means it didn't pop through while I was live. All right. Oops, I'm pushing the wrong button. Hold on, next scene. Here we go. Linda Gibbs is up. Was anything said about the glass mat? So not during on stage, but the latest information I've received that is that it will be available for everyone to purchase. There will be a demonstrator pre-order period before it's available to the general public. We just don't have dates on that yet. So they do have inventory left over from Celebration. So just stay tuned for those dates when they roll that out. Hopefully it's in the next month or two, but I don't have any updates on dates. So just stay tuned. Okay, when can demonstrators shop the new stuff? So great question because some of you might be wondering uh, if you can get your hands on the new products before it goes live. So the annual catalog goes live on May 1st. There is a demonstrator pre-order period that starts on April 2nd. Now we've got a shorter list. I wanna say there are 90 some products from the annual catalog that demonstrators will be able to pre-order starting April 2nd. So that's the date. Now, if you want to join the Stampin' Up! family during the month of April, you will be able to add pre-order products to your starter kit. So keep that in mind if you want to get your hands on new stuff early. Great question. Let's see. I was number 10, Lynn. I was 10 overall for the U.S. Um, and that was announced in November. So we got to walk the stage. It was a pretty cool stage. I will tell you my heart was right here in my throat because I don't love <laughs> the stage walks. Normally you kind of go up stairs and across, kind of horizontally across the stage and down the stairs this year. And actually Shelly demonstrated for us. There was like a catwalk and then this big kind of circular stage. We had to like walk down around and walk back. So it was nerve wracking, but uh, Rachel Tessman and I had some fun. Uh, she talked me into doing some striking a pose <laughs> a few times while we walked around the circular um, part of the stage. So as nerve wracking as that was, I had a really good time. It gave me a good laugh. So um, it was fun. It just, you know, I don't know. It's hard to, to walk across stage. I love what I do. Um, it feels great to, to be recognized, but I don't love all the pomp and circumstance. So it was a um, out of my comfort zone, but I enjoyed it. So let's see. Judy, great question. So I will be sending out emails to customers who earned um, their VIP um, catalog. So those of you who have shopped with me in the last six months, if you place a $25 or more order with me in the last six months, you're going to get a special email from me to request your complimentary copy of the catalog. And I'm probably going to send that out in the next week or so. I send three emails. Um, one Initial email and two reminders if you haven't already requested your catalog or let me know that you don't want the catalog because some of you love to just look at it online. But um, I am going to say you're going to want the catalog because they've completely sort of overhauled what's in the catalog. The color wheel is in the catalog for reference. There are card templates. There's a lot of really cool information in the catalog that they've not included in the past. So for those of you that are used to just looking at it online, I recommend you try to get your hands on a paper copy. So keep an eye out for those emails. If you'd like to be on my um, email list to reserve your copy and you haven't shopped with me before, you just need to place a $25 or more order with me and I'll make sure you get on that list. Okay. But you'll get the catalogs. Um, I will order them on April 2nd for everybody that's requested one. I'll get a couple extras and then you'll have your hands on the catalogs before the catalog goes live May 1st. I do ship them personally, so they will come with a tracking number when you um, request them with me. Um, and again, I do keep it to those who have shopped with me just to keep costs down. All right, let's see. Do you think Stampin' Up! will offer the color wheel to the public? I hope they will. It was intended as an onstage attendee exclusive, but I think they've had so many people asking about it that I'm hoping they consider offering it to the public because it's such a great tool. I actually did not make any swaps, Tara. Um, I, let's see, 
I received swaps from people that were inspired by the, the projects that I've shared. So that was just an incredible thing. I came home with so many really cool swaps. And if you missed the beginning, I shared all of those in show and tell. So you can go back and watch the replay. And then my team, um, they got, well, I treated those that could attend to dinner because um, we had a smaller group. And then I gave them the... They each got this box, but it said, you inspire me. And I put one of the roses, one of the Smith's rose salve in the box. They could have like a lip balm. It's like a lip balm, cuticle cream, elbow ointment, kind of a, I love the, those rose, sorry, the Smith's rose, rosebud salve, I think is what it's called. So that's what they got as their little gift. Oh, the contents of my swaps, Kim. Well, usually if it's treats, me or the kids, <laughs> We'll eat those sometimes Brian, but not usually. <laughs> um, and then like, I'll use the pen for sure. If it's a non edible thing. So the sentiment to a great guy, Cindy, that is the one from, I think it's the bear stamp set, but I'm not going to remember the name of it. Cause I never do. I'm so bad with names. I'm looking for the masculine stamps. It's in the annual catalog and it's one of the bears. Hold on tight, let's see. Maybe. Okay, I'm seeing animals. <laughs> oh boy. It's the one with the big grizzly bear, Cindy, if I can't find it. But that's got the two a great guy. Just can't think of the name. If anybody in the chat who's really good with catalog or stamp names, if you'll shout it out in the chat for Cindy. Cindy, if I think of it and figure it out, I'll shoot you an email. All right. Let's see. I don't have any details about that, Mary, other than um, Sarah has told us that there will be um, an opportunity for Close to My Heart makers to join Stampin' Up! in the future. And she just recommended that makers wait until they hear what the, I think there's going to be a sort of a starter kit off offer or something along those lines. And so she just recommended you know, we're just kind of loving and supporting makers through this and they are business as usual now until they close doors. So just supporting them the best we can. And, um, I'm sending them so much love. I have a few friends who are makers, uh, but there will be an opportunity for them to join Stampin' Up! Should they choose to do so? We just don't have details about what that looks like. So I'm looking forward to hearing what that opportunity is because a rising tide raises all ships. So I'm looking forward to welcoming makers to our family. Let's see. I will keep that in mind, Jackie, for a possible future project, the tea bag and biscuits holder. Yes, Cheryl, the Pixie patron members only live streams can absolutely be watched on replay. Cause I recognize I can't pick a time that's good for everybody, but you can always watch them on replay. Oh, the mini Daisy and Carla said that in the chat, but now I don't remember. <laughs> she said what it, she used the little Daisy from. But I can't remember what it was. I'll have to go back and look in the chat, Mary. Uh, Michelle, I think I addressed this when I shared all the cardstock is going to see an increase um, because I tried to keep the list kind of short. I didn't want to list out all the different colors, um, but basic white and very vanilla, well, those are staples. So that's typically colors that I stock up on a lot of packs. So I'll probably do the same at the, the current price before that price increases. But yes, all cardstock will see a price increase come May 1st. Dainty Delight. Dainty Delight, Mary. That's where that came from. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. Let's see. How many sheets will be in the regular cardstock packages? So it's 24 sheets of the one color, the single color, or it's 20 sheets with the color family. So the color family, you get two each of 10 colors, so 20 sheets. That The, the count of cardstock is not changing, it's just the price. So you get 24 of the single color and 20 of the color family or the assortment, okay? And that's the same for both 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11 assortments. So just the very vanilla thick cardstock, Deidre, the envelopes, the note cards and envelopes are going away. The regular very vanilla is staying put. It's not going anywhere. I think there would be a an uproar if they completely took very vanilla away. I have a feeling that the thick in the envelopes and the note cards and envelopes, they're just not big sellers. Um, the whisper white kind of, I 
just said whisper white. One of these days, I'll remember that. The basic white, those are more popular in those um, weights and products. So yeah, we still get to keep the regular very vanilla, both in eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. It's just the thick that's going away and then the very vanilla accessories. So like the envelopes and the note cards and envelopes, okay? And then my three by three whisper white, no, basic white. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? Um, the three by three basic white mini envelopes are going away too. I'm sad. I loved On Stage Dolores, if you can't already tell. Um, it fills my cup. Uh, I can't even share, like, or I can't even describe. Going to On Stage is one of my very favorite things about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. There's just something about being in a room. I want to say there was two to 3,000 of us in um, Orlando. Or goodness, Houston. They also had an event in Rotterdam and in Melbourne. So since we're a global company, but there's just something so incredible about being in a room full of people who, what we do is just bring joy to people through our handcrafted cards and gifts. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's so difficult to describe, but it's so fun to run into people that I've met online and I've never met before in person. I met a bunch of my Pixie patrons there. And just folks that I've met through social media and haven't had a chance to meet in person. And then my longtime friends. I've been a demonstrator for 14 years now. And I've made friends at every single convention I've attended. My, my group keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, one of the things that Sarah talked about was eradicating lon loneliness and minding the gap. And, um, ooh, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. Um, just opening up your circle to new people because that's what we do. Um, and it, that was just an incredible thing to see that happen in person at on stage. just people kind of opening up their circle and inviting new friends in. So many people that it's their first on stage or maybe they went and didn't know anybody. So it was really, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. I didn't get enough sleep because I just didn't want to stop visiting with people and Anyways, it was just incredible. So I would love to have people join me in Raleigh in March of 2025. If you have any questions about it, just feel free to ask me. Let's see. Would I ever consider selling my label list from 2021 to 2024? I'm trying to think which label list you're referring to, Yvette. <laughs> Shoot me an email, okay? Or drop something in our team Facebook group and I'll, um, just because so, my brain is so fried right now, <laughs> I want to make sure I understand what you're asking about. The new acrylic block bundle will not have the storage caddy, unfortunately, and I think it's just because it's reducing by three blocks. They're not adding any new sizes, so um, my guess is they just didn't want to create a new mold for a new caddy. I actually, I had that caddy when I first, when they first introduced the clear blocks, and I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I haven't used it in so long. I just kind of put things in a clear container because I use them so much. Let's see. So the downloads, Donna, you'll find those in the video description. I want to say there's seven links I'm thinking off the top of my head, but all the different um, downloads I was showing on camera, you can find those in the description. Ooh, the wanted to say dies. Let me check that, Kimberly. I also forgot to tell you I'm wearing, this was a top achiever, top performer. It's so comfy and cozy. I'm wearing it for the first time today. Um... Okay, wanted to say. Yes, those are carrying over. I've got a 24 to 25 annual catalog note. Those are carrying over, yay! So Janet, it depends on your staples. Some of them don't love cutting because they have to cut the binding off and sometimes the um, adhesive gunks up the cutting blades. So some of them will kind of fuss at you <laughs> over it. Um, I did have a lot of luck. I actually have a paper cutter that I do it myself, but I've had a lot of luck with FedEx. The FedEx, is it called FedEx Office now? FedEx Office Print and Ship, I think, whatever they're, they're called now, the FedEx places. Um, they've never turned me away. So um, the other thing I do is nothing fancy. I just have them add a window sheet so it's not um, laminated. It's just window sheet front and back. And then... Um, coil binding so but it's just great to be able to open the catalog flat and it the prices vary I've tried office max before or off staples um, office depot I've tried but I had the most success at FedEx it kind of depends on your area as well you did okay 
You already answered Judy, you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Brian got you, Judy. Uh, let's see. Will you put pre-order allowed list on your blog? Um, tell me more about that, Kathy, the pre-order allowed. You mean like the list that's available for pre-order? Um, shoot me an email. I can send you a link, I think. Um, it's just a sub. The way that they do the annual catalog is a subset. The mini catalogs, we can pre-order pretty much everything in the catalog just because they're a smaller catalog. With the annual, they typically do a short list. Um, and I'll do a sneak peek of the products that I receive as well. So stay tuned for that. Hello, Jenna. I got to hug Jenna's neck in um, Houston as well. It was so fun. She and I have dogs that look very similar. Her dog Milo and my dog Kona. <laughs> um, let's see. Comforting thoughts. Oh, comforting thoughts. Is that one in the mini? I don't remember. Or is comforting, isn't comforting thoughts an online exclusive? I think that's one of the new online exclusives. Let me know, Jenna, in the chat. <laughs> um, if so, I think it's staying in the online exclusives for now. Is the calendar stamp set retiring? Yes, question mark. I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna double check that. If I can find it. I can never remember the name of it. It's right by the vertical. I know the vertical stamp is above it. Yes, days to remember is retiring. Page 104. I've got an R next to it right there. Okay, so Wink of Stella. Um, we got an update, Stella, if you'll check the current updates with Stampin' Up. Um, they gave us an update on this week's weekly updates. They're having, the manufacturer is having some trouble. They are working as fast as they can to catch up with backlog because Wink of Stella is kind of sold out everywhere, not just with Stampin' Up. Um, but I think they said, ooh, I don't remember exactly what they said. It's coming, they're working on it as much as fast as they can. It's a supplier issue, um, but it is gonna be in the new annual catalog. So um, as soon as they can figure out supply issues, then it'll be back in stock. It is coming back, it is carrying over. So never fear with that. Uh, but check the current update, Stella, on the demo portal and it'll t give you um, the latest update that I've read um, this week. Yes, my favorite color is I waffle between Fresh Freesia and Highland Heather. Highland Heather has kind of been my OG favorite purple, but at Fresh Freesia, and now Petunia Pop is up there. I just love purples. <laughs> so I got the Spotlight on Nature, Carla, um, but I didn't make it. I just, I, I call it take and make. <laughs> I grabbed my little bag and then just kind of hung out with people, so. Uh, let's see. The bag I don't believe will be available for purchase, Jennifer. That was, uh, well, I can't say, never say never. If they've got extra stock of it, they may make it available as a demonstrator supply item. Um, but I don't believe they'll make it available for the public. It might be a demonstrator supply item. So I'm not sure about that. Let's see. If WOW embossing powder is a good product and I have to buy it elsewhere until Stampin' Up! brings their new line in, which is better. <clears throat> Let's see. The regular opaque bright white. Is there multiple? No. Okay. I have no experience with the WOW embossing powder. I was kind of scoping them out a little bit yesterday and today. Um, I'm going to hang tight because I've got quite a bit of embossing powder still. Um, but I think you can find it elsewhere in the meantime. It's just, they're going to, um, it's going to be in the same kind of combo packs. So three colors to a pack, the basics, which is black, white, and clear. And then the metallics, which is gold, silver, and copper, excuse me, I think is the three colors. Um, so yeah, I don't have any experience with the wow. I'm hoping that, um, that it's an even better quality than what we have now. Some of the, the black I always have a trouble with. Um, the current black one, but I think some of it's the humidity here in Atlanta, I think, so. 
So Debbie, I don't use the mini stamp and emboss machine mostly because I have access to the regular one. The mini one is one that I would use if I were going on crops or traveling. Um, the, the regular size one just has so much more heft to it that I had just it, I just have a better experience with it. There's nothing wrong with the mini, but the regular one, I don't have to worry about what size dies are feeding into it. Um, it's much heavier on my workspace. Um, the mini one has its purpose, but I just always grab the big one because it's always here and I'm also a creature of habit, so. So Stampin' Rewards are not going away, Margaret. They're changing. So they're going to be changing um, not anytime super soon. So I haven't really shared specifics about it so as not to confuse my customers. Um, but all I can tell you is they're awesome. So um, at a high level, uh, more customers will earn Stampin' Rewards when it switches to the new program. I believe it will happen. I, we haven't been told the exact date because they're still working on updating the system to accommodate it. To accommodate it, but the earliest it will happen is in the fall. Um, I'm thinking it may happen more around this time next year, is my guess. But I have no inside information, so totally guessing on that. Um, so you're gonna love it. So um, Stampin' Up will be keeping track of all the rewards. It's something. It's just like um, kind of like Kohl's Cash. Um, I'm trying to think of other. What are some other places you shop at that have those type of rewards? Like. Um, I know I've got a couple, like I use replica surfaces for my photography and, or actually Stampin' Storage is a perfect example. I get a certain percentage of every order in, in rewards to use on a future order. It'll be the same kind of thing with Stampin' Up. I think it's wonderful. It's kind of bringing us up to date with rewards in um, sort of the e-commerce industry. And it gives you so much more flexibility, you know, in conjunction with, or it, comparing it to my Pixie Perks rewards, you have to redeem for either a stamp set or a stamp and die bundle, depending on how many rewards you redeem with the new Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. And again, the changes aren't coming super soon. I will make sure you have the heads up when they do. You'll be able to use those rewards for anything. So it gives customers more flexibility. We all have the, I have the ability to gift rewards. Um, so I'm excited about it. So stay tuned, nothing to worry about, nothing there's nothing bad about it. It's all good things. And I'm really excited. I'm kind of, I'm excited for, I, it's gonna be hard for me to wait because I'm really excited about it. But yes, Stampin' Rewards, they're not going away, they're changing. And they're changing for the better. So stay tuned. Y'all won't have to use host codes and all of that stuff. It's just gonna be so much easier, okay? That was a long answer. <laughs> Let's see. Brian did not go as my supporting demonstrator. Why not, Brian? I'm just kidding. I don't make him go to the Stampin' Up! events. I know he would go if I asked him, but... Um, he watched the kids. He, he watched the kids. Yeah, the kids were in good hands, weren't they? Um, plus, I'm not sure he could deal with all of the talking that I do. <laughs> I just love to visit with people, and poor Brian's like, can we go yet? <laughs> my family was always the last family at church on Sundays in Fellowship Hall. So, yeah, I... It, I, it comes, it's in my nature. <laughs> oh, Yes, I will be offering paper shares, Gigi. Um, so stay tuned for that. I started working on it a little bit because I couldn't help myself as soon as I got the catalog. But yes, I will be. So stay tuned for that. Anyone who's participated in my shares in the past, you're already on my email list. You'll be the first to be notified. If you'd like to be on my email list, just go to thepaperpixie.com slash shares and you can add your name to my email list to, be, to get the first email when I roll it out. Yes, shares, yes. Um, I think I answered this already. No current announcements yet. Stay tuned. Stampin' Up! will keep us informed on um, the opportunity that's available for uh, makers from close to my heart. I'm excited to welcome them to the family. Yes, so both demonstrators and customers, Sandy, have to wait until April 9th for the discounted prices. Anything not Dis going to be discounted, you can purchase now, um, especially those things that are going to have a price increase on May 1st. I recommend kind of grabbing that stuff now. I also recommend grabbing any in color, outgoing in color stuff, because those likely are going to start selling out here fairly quickly. Um, so that's like the Tahitian, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet. Oh, 
I'm not gonna remember all the colors, but you know which ones I'm talking about. <laughs> so those are gonna sell out pretty quickly. I think the only thing from those in colors that are discounted are the um, the ribbon, kind of that sparkly ribbon and the Stampin' Blends. But like I would grab ink refills if you don't already have them, extra cardstock, that type of thing. So Jennifer, with demonstrators, we have access to a suggestion box, but otherwise, no. Um, you could potentially email Stampin' Up. You can find their email address, I think, on the website. Um, but for demonstrators, yes, we can go to the suggestion box. So I think I already answered this, Kim. Stampin' Rewards are just changing. Um, they're going to be awarded at time of purchase to be used for a future order. Um, there's no need to use host codes to earn them. Um, they're just much easier and more in line with other rewards programs that you're probably familiar with for, for stores that you shop with online. So I'm excited about it. We just don't have exact dates of when, on when it's switching over. Essentially, it'll be current Stampin' Rewards one day and then the next day, new Stampin' Rewards. So it's just a matter of Stampin' Up! will let us know when that date happens. And I assume we'll know um, enough ahead of time to give you guys a heads up. Um, but there shouldn't be a whole lot of changes for customers. You all should be able to shop just as normal, just without having to add the host code to your order. So I'm looking forward to that. But as far as things go right now, no changes. You still want to use my magic shopping link with the host code and all that good stuff. Yes, my sweatshirt is from on stage. This was given to top performers and it's just like, I wish you guys could feel it. It's so soft. <laughs> I hope that it never deteriorates because it's so comfy and cozy. I don't normally love um, pullover hoodies. I usually like the ones with zips, but I love it. It's got this little like pin tuck, I don't know, cute detail on the back. I think it's by OGO, O-G-I-O, is that right? Is that what it says? Yes, O-G-I-O, trying to read it upside down. Let's see. Oh, you guys have good questions tonight. Any new Stampin' Up! gear, hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, mugs, etc. available in the near future? I don't know, Mary. So we did have some that we could purchase during OnStage. And I'm assuming if they've got some extras, maybe they'll make that available for purchase. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know of any specifically that will be available. Okay, this seems to be the hot topic. I love the new catalog. I'm just going to say it. I'm not a Pollyanna, but I think that the new catalog, now I can't show you the inside, but it is totally different than what we're used to. But there is color theory in here. There is techniques. There is products from those who want a step-by-step. -step. So like kits, paper pumpkin. There's kind of mix and match in here. It's kind of the progression of a paper crafter, the way that this book is laid out. There are card templates. I mean, it's, it's really more of an idea book than the catalogs that we've known in the past. It's taking me a little while to get used to finding things in here, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I think it's gonna attract a lot of new customers, um, younger customers as well, so I'm thrilled about it. It's, I'm, it's taking me time to figure out how to get around it, but I, I love the direction it's going in. Yes, there are. There are. I just can't think of them specifically off the top of my head, but there are masculine stamp sets, so don't worry about that. So Deborah, right in the description of this video, it should be one of the first links to join the Pixie patrons, the paperpixie.com slash patron. Um, depending on what device you're on, you could also find a join button beneath the video right next to the subscribe button. But if you're on iOS or using the YouTube app, sometimes you can't see that button. So I added the link to the description. Um, it doesn't look, so there's nothing about the magnetic plate for either machine um, in the annual catalog. So I don't know a specific update if they've sort of stopped trying to um, update or fix the quality issues or what the scoop is with that. I hope that we'll get an update on it, but there's no mention of it in the new catalog. So demonstrators, Kathy, Stampin' Up! is sending a complimentary copy of the annual catalog. Um, they've probably already started processing that catalog for active demonstrators. They ship it via bulk mail, so it can take up to three weeks to arrive, but you should arrive it in the next probably two to three weeks. If for some reason, I know there's a date cut off on the demonstrator site. If demonstrators don't receive it by a certain date, you can call demo support. But yes, all active demonstrators will be receiving a complimentary copy of the catalog directly from Stampin' Up! Let's see. 
For right now, Karen, the retiring pages, the links will be included in the video description. I may or may not do a blog post. Um, I'm behind on blog posts once again. I've got two that I've got to post I'm going to try to do to, uh, tomorrow and Friday. Um, but for right now, what the, the downloads that I created, you can find those in the description of this video. There was not an on stage in Canada, Lorraine. It was Houston, which was meant for all of North America. So we had lots of Canadian demonstrators that joined us in Houston. So Houston, Rotterdam for Europe, and then Melbourne for South Pacific. My new favorite one is Petunia Pop, followed by Summer Splash. So yeah, Petunia Pop and Summer Splash. Those are my favorites. There will not be a new insert. The block, the clear block storage case is retiring. So if you need it, grab it before it retires. Otherwise, there won't be another um, storage case for the clear blocks. Thank you, Deb. Comforting Thoughts is an online exclusive. So Jenna, um, that one's staying put until, I, I don't remember if that one's going to be restocked or what the scoop is. So and looking awesome. Kim Rowlinson, welcome to the Pixie Patrons. Brian just pointed that out. Welcome. We'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, let's see. The Stampin' um, Cut and Emboss Machine, it's just a $2 increase. Judy, it's going from 128 to 130 So relatively, that's just about a 2% increase. It's a tiny little increase. The plates are getting a little bit of an increase as well. I don't think any of the cr increases were more than... I think $2.50 was the highest increase of anything. Um, but then depending on the price, so for example, um, which one was the thing that had, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, which one was kind of the biggest percentage. The Craft White, that pigment in, ink refill, it's like a 56% increase, but I think it's because it's going from like 450 to seven, I think is the difference. So relatively, that's a much higher increase, but I don't think anything's going up more than $2.50. I think that was the biggest price jump. Yes, Mari, so, oops, I pushed a button, it didn't work. New demonstrators do receive a catalog. Um, if, let's see, if you're a current demonstrator now, a complimentary catalog is being mailed to you from Stampin' Up. When you join Stampin' Up, and I think that's actually gonna start in the month of April, when you join as a new demonstrator, you're gonna get, you're actually gonna get three packages of catalogs, I believe during the month of April. You're gonna get a box of the current annual catalogs, which is eight pack, an eight pack of the mini catalogs, and then an eight pack or a box of eight of the upcoming annual. So I think you get a lot of catalogs if you join in the month of April, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Ooh, I'll have to look back, Jean, at Liz Hightower's if I don't already have something like that on my blog. Um, but I will keep it in mind for a possible future project if not. Alrighty, I got to the end of the questions. We ran a little bit long tonight, but I had so much to share with you. Um, hopefully you were inspired by the swaps that I shared with you. I hope you learned something new about the last chance list, the price increases, and where to get the most bang for your buck. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, support at thepaperpixie.com. Tomorrow night is episode six of my members only live stream, The Pixie Patrons. That's at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. You can join the Pixie Patrons, which is my YouTube channel membership. There's a link in the description, uh, or you can look for the join button next to the subscribe button to join. We'd love to have you join us tomorrow night. I'm gonna share two cards with you and two card layouts, and you'll get to download um, card layouts to add to our growing binder of card layouts that we've been, bu we've been building together over the last six months. So we'd love to have you join us again. That's tomorrow night, March 21st, 2024, at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. The Pre-order for demonstrators starts April 2nd. It's also a great time to join the Stampin' Up! family. You can add pre-order products to a starter kit starting on April 2nd. April 9th, the last chance product discounts go into effect. So take a look at all the links in the description, links to the last chance list where you can see the uh, discounts that will be reflected on April 2nd, April 9th. <laughs> Sorry, April 2nd is the pre-order. April 9th is when the discount starts. I also included some PDFs for um, my favorite products that are going to have a price increase, my favorite products that are retiring, the bundle 
bundles that are carrying over, just not the bundle pricing, then the bundles that are retiring. So I tried to break it down a little bit for you because sometimes this time of year, especially with two catalogs retiring at the same time, there's a lot of information. So tried my best to break it down so you could understand it, both demonstrators and customers. But as always, if you have questions, shoot me an email. Here's a quick shout out for my Pixie patrons in the credits. We're so grateful for your support and we'll see you guys tomorrow night for the members only live stream. My next live stream episode 324 will be next Wednesday. What's the date today? That will be March 27th, 2024, episode 324 at eight o'clock PM. Here's a shout out to my Pixie patrons and we'll see you next time. Take good care. Bye.